Hello, welcome back to a new video. We're gonna pack orders today, uh, and then I'm also gonna use this footage to make TikToks because I can't be fucked too. Do you understand how hard it is to make fucking TikToks? They're like, you need to upload a TikTok daily. And it's like, I wanna kill myself. I'm not doing that. That's so much fucking work, dude. Um, obviously, per usual, anytime I'm doing any video, I have labels out the ass that I need to cut. So let's fucking cut those up, huh? These, most, the, the top row, these are all candles. Um, the bottom row, body scrubs. I redid them. I think they look really nice. This is new. Legend is new. I thought that scent, it's just rose. I thought that would be nice to add to the collection. Then I did some for some other ones. One last stop. Watermelon sugar, Post Malone. Uh, that one's just new looking anyways let's cut these um yeah so welcome to my channel i'm dominique the owner of books tabs and wigs uh what what else do i say welcome to the channel this is the video today we're packing orders this is our second iteration of this style of video where i'm just like packing and talking this is the second one How's that? I'm not being very consistent with my uploads because I have like a million things going on, it feels like. Even if I really don't. It's just like, ugh, there's so much that you're supposed to do all the time that it makes everything so unenjoyable. Like, dude. Like, okay, on TikTok, for instance, the, the hack or whatever is that you need to post like at the very least once daily to get traffic and whatever. Dude, it, do you not understand how annoying it is to have to produce content at that rate? I'm not I'm not a content creator, okay? I am not a content creator. I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. Um and it's so annoying and it's just hard and it's like unrealistic to expect like I'm, I'm like running a business i also have hobbies i like to see my friends and then it's like the, i'm expected to make like at the very fucking least seven tiktoks a week which doesn't sound like a lot but it is especially on top of like just life like jesus it's not it's just not realistic I'm listening to Skrillex right now. I'll link a song below because I really like this song. Any Skrillex listeners in chat? I think this style of content would do well live, honestly. Like, um, so if you don't know, I live stream on Twitch. Link below. Go follow me if you like video games. Let's get to let's to get to gaming. Um, so I'm pretty used to like live streaming. And, like, entertaining, at least myself. And that's, like, a, a thing I don't have a problem with. So I guess in that way I'm a content creator. Because I like making uh, video game content. But it's just, like, in other ways for my business. Like, it's just, like, not a natural way for business to go, I guess. Like, I don't know. It's just bizarre. Like, I make candles. I don't want to have to make TikToks, too. <laughs> but, you know, here we are. Here we are. This is the plight of humanity. This is what, um... What's that? What's that fucking meme? The <laughs> the industrial. <laughs> this is what the industrial revolution led to. That's exactly how I feel. We had the industrial revolution, and now I have to make fucking TikTok seven times a week, uh, at the minimum, in order to like, gain some sort of semblance of traction for my candle business. That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Anyways, I do need to make, like, these body scrubs before the 22nd. It's currently the 13th, so, I mean, I have all week. I'm not doing it today, but it's just something I need to do. And then I need to... I don't know what else I need to do. Really nothing else. I have a few candles I need to pour. I need to take pictures of candles is actually what I need to do. Ooh, this is a good song. Nobody fully. Always one foot on the ground. And I need to retake some pictures of certain candles. Because I just don't like the pictures. Like, Romance Reader is one of them. 
I hate the pictures for that candle. And I did change this label a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited because I was thinking about it. I basically have redone all my labels. Um, like I've gone through a bunch of different labels and I've landed on this text. I think it's really nice. I really like it. But I've gone through a bunch of different styles like this. And so I, I was like, this is really nice for the body scrubs. And there was a point where this was the font that I used a lot. And I think that's really nice for like the genre candles. So, and then this font, I really like for the like celebrity candles, right? So I'm happy. I need to retake the Sunflower Volume 6 candle pictures because... I misprinted the label on this candle the first time I made it, and it says Sunflower Volume 7, and I don't like having that in the listing photo, and it's been like that for a year, and I think that might have a big part in the reason why it doesn't sell well, because it's a cute candle, and before that, it sold really well, sold really well, but it did used to have a different name, so maybe I'll even re like keep it as this, but then also make it in to the sunflower fields does that make sense that's what it was marketed as before it was called sunflower fields so i might even like do that i don't know oh that one came out crooked holy shit what am i doing Break my phone. now i'm listening to fidelity by regina specter i do love regina specter all right Okay, so we finished those ones. Listen, this is an important part of packing orders because I'm going to need these labels at some point. We just got to do this prep work. That's one thing about like a business. <laughs> you, you're going to be doing it. Like there's always so much like it's tiny, small work that you have to do constantly and prep work. It's like endless prepping for like, I don't even know what, like what the fuck am I prepping for, dude? It's like a trip, except the trip is just like more work you know having a small business is great but it's like fucking endless amounts of work bro no joke no. okay i'm gonna do a time lapse of me cutting the rest of these labels and then we'll start packing all right So the first order we're packing, well, I got a little excited, didn't I? Is a wax melt order. If you know anything about me, I love wax melts, like buying them personally I love. Uh, but they're also my favorite orders to pack and I don't really know why, but they are. This is for Jordan. We need to put a, a tissue paper in. Look, we just lay that in there and it looks so cute. This is what she ordered. We already packed it up. We already talked about it. But there it is. And we need a wax melt sample. I have a lot of like wizard's brew left over because I made those candles. And I always end up with a lot of the frosting left over. So I just turn them into wax, wax, what? I turn them into wax melt samples. But I also have this which is half eggnog, half cinnamon buns. So I'm actually gonna put that in there too. Um, since it's a wax melt order, I know that she will use it. Or maybe she won't use it, but I know she could like it. It's always a possibility that she might like it. Uh, I'm gonna put some peanuts in. Just a few. This is usually where I would put like pink worms, but I don't, I haven't bought any this whole entire year. And I realize I'm not, like, I'm not really missing them from my package. Packaging, they're cute, but, like, eh. 
No one's been like, oh my god, the worms are missing. And so, I don't know. Like, I don't know. They're kind of a mess to clean up in order. It's so, like, maybe people like not having them. I guess you have to let me know. Do you like worms or do you hate worms? Are you anti-worms or pro-worms? Paper worms. Paper worms uh, is what I'm talking about here. Then, of course, we put in our business card, which, again, like, these are so cute. I love them. And that's that's the entire order. It's pretty simple once you get the basics done, done and down. Uh, but that being said, we do need these. We have our, like, I don't know what, what would be the word for this. I know what it is, but I also, like, forgot, so I don't know. It's, like, an, I don't know. It's just to motivate people to shop on my, like, website instead of my Etsy. So I write a code here, put this in, and hopefully, if they want to, they shop on my website and use this code. If not, they can just use the code that's on the back of the business card for Etsy, but that also works on my website, so you know, you might as well. I'm listening to Cinema by Skrillex again, sorry. And we just pretty much just tape it up, and that's the whole order. So, Jordan, I hope you like this. Let me write your name on the box. Jordan, there you go. That'll be in the post office this afternoon. <laughs> and you'll actually probably get it in two days, so that's exciting. Next, we're going to pack up Leona. Hey, Leona. She ordered the Sirius Black Candle, which again is like a super moody dark candle super fun so with candles hmm, there's no good way to show this but basically the candle goes inside and then packing peanuts go all around like this you see and then we'll put in a wax melt sample as well Wizard's Brew Baby, of course. That's fitting, because this is a Harry Potter candle. That works. And just, you know, the goal here is just to make sure that it's, like, not gonna get broken. And then put this here. And, yeah, let's do my thing. All of our packing peanuts are biodegradable. They're, like, made out of cornstarch, so you can put them in the water, and they just, like, dissolve. So that's super epic. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna like move this here. I think that's a better angle for us. Even though the camera might fall. It's not the best we've got. So, label sticker. Card. And then the business card goes right on top. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty much just like that. So, Leona, hey, if you're out there, I hope you like your serious uh, 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 candle. Let me tape this up, actually. I want to switch to paper tape because it takes a lot less and it's uh, not plastic. So, that's one of my goals for the new year. Switch to paper tape. If I get some pink paper tape, I think that would be soups. Soups cute. Soups adorbs. Which I do, I want to do a video about my goals for the new year. I always want to do that and I just never do. Maybe I'll do, like, I don't know, personal and business. Maybe I'll just do it about business. I don't know if people care about the personal aspect of me so much. Which they don't need to. But they can Usually if someone watches my YouTube, I assume they like the personal side, just because, like, I'm not, I don't have very much of a filter over here on the YouTubes. Pretty much just as annoying as a person can be, like, legally. I'm at my legal annoying limit, quite honestly. Who's next? Who's next? Angela. Hey, girl. She ordered the Neville candle, which, again, I just love this one. This was one that I made, like, I was thinking about, like, what, who Neville would be as an adult, and so that's why I came up with this one, because he's obviously the, like, herbology professor, or whatever the fuck it's called, the plant guy, so I was like, mmm, dirt, like, and then I was like, well, how would you make that smell super good? Pretty easy. You just, like, I added in some rain, which makes it really fresh, 
And then I added an amber, which gives it a little bit of like a enticing sexiness, I, I guess. I don't fucking know. That's how I would describe it. Amber is like one of my favorite scents to put into blends. So that's what's in that candle. And that's what's in that order for Angela. And I... All right, Angela, enjoy. Um, huh, what the fuck is it? Next is the carding candle for Cassie. I knew I forgot peanuts in this one. <laughs> I made sure I put peanuts in the bottom of the box and I put in the paper. I don't, like, I used to not put in this paper, but I think it adds a really cute second unwrapping effect because they open it up. They open the box first. Cute, it's a gift. We love it. It's like a present inside. Wizard's Brew again. I think that's a good fit for this candle. Um, right, so they open it up. It's like a gift. Inside they have like the business card, which is cute. It has a note. Cute. Makes it feel special. Makes it feel like a gift from a friend. Uh, and then under my phone cut off unsurprisingly but like I was saying they get to open it up with this really cute sticker so it's like a, uh, now we're at our like third opening and then inside you know they get a free little sample which makes it even more fun and then they finally get to open their um, card or their I mean their candle or candles plural depending and so it's like it's just a fun gift it's, like, it's just a whole experience at least that's what I'm going for if it's not like that, uh, don't let me know. It will hurt my feelings. Just kidding. Please let me know. But that's the intention, right? I want it to just feel special. Like a gift. And I think it does for the most part. Yeah. So, Cassie, enjoy that. Enjoy that candle. All right, next up is Finn. Hey, Finn. Hey, Finn. How's it cracking out there? Um, let's, let's do zucchini bread. I love... This is so good. This is such a good scent. It's not even funny how good it is. Like, ugh, I need to find a way to put that into a candle because it's amazing. Something happened. I can't hear anything playing on my... Oh, I turned it off. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, like I was saying, I really want to switch to paper tape. Just because, uh, well, okay. I don't know what I'm saying exactly, but I want to switch to paper tape. For, like, in every way, I think it's just a more sustainable option. It's more eco-friendly. And... It's more eco-friendly, and it just, you, it needs a lot less, you know? So that's something I'm really looking into. Also, I'm currently out of sticker paper, and I haven't had the money to, like, rebuy it. Because I'm like, I've had to buy fragrance oil, I've had to buy jars. So, like, things like that just fall to the back burner, I guess is the way to say that. I'm like, yeah, if I get some extra, if I get an extra 70 bucks, I'll stock up on some labeled paper. But as of now, I don't have the funds, which I guess is sometimes just how a business goes. No joke. Like, sometimes you just don't have the money to buy, this, like, certain things. <laughs> and so you have to make cuts where you don't necessarily want to. Like, I would rather have sticker paper. It's much easier. But I have other shit I have to buy and pay for, so I can't enjoy the luxury of, um self-adhesive labels i have to like cut them out and stick them on with tape which is super annoying but you know that's that's just how it goes you know i don't know next who's next nancy that's our other x-files candle perfect i love these tiny candles i don't know why they're just so fun to pack 
They take up no space at all. Okay, now I'm listening to Rico Nasty iPhone. This is like one of my favorite songs. We're doing Wizard's Brew in that one. Some on top. Fold that over. Fold. And then a sticker. Baby. Card. Business card. Yeah, Nancy. Go, girl, go. It's only one o'clock. I say that's pretty good. I do, after this, have, like, another, like, ten orders to pack downstairs. These were just the ones I selected for, uh, video. Is this Rainbow Kitten Surprise? Yeah. Perfect. Now I'm listening to Rainbow Kitten Surprise, Devil Like Me, and I love this song. I truly do. All right, Nancy. Here it is. I hope you love it. I'm out of circle labels. Ugh, I don't have them. I don't. I honestly don't know where they are. All right, Lindsay, last one. Mostly because Chris does this uh, downstairs. Lindsay, here we go. The last sample of Wizard's Brew. That's lucky. Enjoy that, Lindsay. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Alright, guys. I'm just have to use a piece of tape because I don't know where my stickers are. Piece of tape on. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Sorry that you did not get a sticker like Deep, sorry. But, uh, hey. I don't know. I think that took like two hours. Maybe it took like one and a half. Maybe it took one. I genuinely don't know. I think it took a long time. I think that was a combination of filming and also just like not being in my packing room. Or my workspace. So that was the last one. Yeah, they've all got their TikTok thingy and this thingy, which again, I'm not thrilled about TikTok. I would rather not have to do that, but that's something <laughs> I feel obligated to do, unfortunately. Unfortunately. That's okay. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's just not that great of a deal either. Um, so, hey. The end of the video. I hope you like this pack and chat. It was a lot. Maybe. I don't know. I have to edit it and then I have to edit everything in the TikToks. So I'm not thrilled again. <laughs> I, I don't mind the YouTube part, but the, the TikTok part is throwing me off. Uh. So anyways, whatever. Last end of the video. Hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time when I see you. Hopefully it's soon. Peace out. Stay uh, swaggy.